Hey everyone. Alright, so I was playing around with colors and um, yeah, I was playing around on this eye. Just playing around with like color combinations and stuff and then I actually came up with the look that I have on right now. I liked it so much I decided that I would record a video on it. Um, yeah, so normally when I play with a lot of colors or when I just play with colors in general, I just grab a bunch of stuff and just start putting it on. And that's how this look came about. So in this video, it may seem like I'm using a lot of products to some people, but when I put makeup on myself or when I'm doing makeup, it doesn't phase me or bother me to use a lot of different products to create a look, like using 15 different colors on my eyes if I need to. It's no big deal to me. Um, so if you're the type of person that's like in a hurry and just want to use like two colors or something, this probably wouldn't be the look for you. So yeah, with all that said, that's pretty much all I can actually say about the look itself. So let's just go right ahead and get the tutorial started. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this color. It's called Iris Eyes. It's a MAC fluid line. I'm not sure if they still make this color or not, because um, I haven't bought it in forever. But it's just like a lilac color. So anything similar to that would work just as well. Then I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to apply this in my crease. And this is just going to be the base for the other products that are going in the crease. And then once I have that on, I'm just going to blend it up towards the brow so it fades out completely. Once I have that on to set it, I'm just going to go in with this color right here. Um, this is by Yabi, and I don't know the name of the actual color, I'll have to look it up online, but it's another lilac color, it's just a very light, light purple. And I'm going to take that on a fluffy brush this time, and I'm just going to apply this over the fluid line that I just put down. And then I'm going to blend it all the way up to my brow. This is just going to help set the fluid line, but also help to blend out that edge so there aren't any harsh lines. I'm going to go in with um, Poison Plum from Sugar Pills, taking that on a brush, and then very lightly I'm going to apply that in my crease just to add a little bit more warmth. Now for the lid, I'm going to take this, which is just a Kryolan Aqua Color. It's UV Lime. Um, it's just like a neon green, but any kind of lime colored primer or base would work. Um, you could use like a pencil, like an eyeliner, or anything like that. But I'm going to pick this up on a brush, and with the aqua colors, you have to use them wet. So I actually just use Max um, Face and Body Mixing Medium, only because it stays on a little bit longer than like the water base, and it is safe to use on your eyes, unlike the alcohol base. And then once I have that on my brush, I'm just going to put this all over my lid. And once it's on my lid, I'm actually going to apply some of that underneath my eye on my bottom lash line. Now I have that on the top lid and my bottom lash line. Um, you can use any kind of primer for that. You could use like your Urban Decay Primer Potion, your Too Faced Shadow Insurance. It doesn't have to have a color. I just use colored primers most of the time to amp up the color that I'm going to apply on top. Just give it a little bit like an extra kick or something. But now I'm going to move on and I'm going to do my lid color and I'm going to use this color right here, which is Absinthe from Sugar Pill. It's a nice um, like yellowy acid green color. And I'm just going to go in with that same brush that I used, and I'm just going to pack this right on top of my lid. Now for the bottom, um, I'm going in with this color right here, which is turquoise from Ben Nye. It's one of their Lumiere Grand colors. Um, and then I'm just going in with like a semi-fluffy brush but it's flat and it has a taper to it. This is Max 272. It's discontinued, I think, but there are comparable brushes, um, like a 239 you could use or like some other brand. Use whatever you want, but I'm gonna take this on the brush and then I'm just going to apply that underneath my bottom lash line. 
Now that I have the bottom um, done with the turquoise, now I'm going in with this eyeliner. This is actually a dark green. This is tarnished um, or tarnish from MAC. You could do this with a black eyeliner if you have one. I'm just using the green because this is the first one that I grabbed when I started. And I'm going to line my top lid, but I'm going to have the line thicker on the outer corner and have it taper in like that. Then I'm going to take that same liner and I'm going to do the same on the bottom. I'm just going to have it thicker on this outside corner and have it taper in as it goes over. Once I have that drawn on, I'm just going to go in with a tiny brush like this and I'm just going to like smudge this line because I don't want a super, super harsh line. I want it to kind of fade out so it'll be darker at my lash line and then fade out into the green. And on this outside corner, it doesn't have to be perfect because it's just going to end up being black. And then I'm going to do the same on the bottom. I'm just going to smudge it up a little bit. Now for the top, I'm actually just going back in with that turquoise from Ben Nye and right on top of the liner, I'm just going to apply this. So you start to get an effect like that. Now that I have that on, I'm going to go in and I'm going to use the black from the NARS Pandora Duo. And I'm actually just going to go in with a fluffy brush like this. And now I'm going to apply the black in the base of my crease, um, right at the base of my lash line here, and then on this outer corner on the bottom lash line. And they're all going to connect right here in the corner. So if you want like a good starting reference, you can just take it and go like that in the corner of your eye and then just branch everything off from that. Now I'm going in with that same black eyeliner that I used earlier and I'm just going to tight line so I'm going to line underneath um, my top lashes and then I'm also going to line uh, my waterline. Now that the eyes are pretty much done, I'm going to go in with this color right here which is a very 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 bright fuchsia. This is um, Azalea from Ben Nye and I'm just going to take a small brush like this, pick up some of the color and I'm going to press that on the inside corner but only on the top portion of my eye, not on the bottom. And since I am putting this next to a green, since red and green are complementary colors, if you mix them together you get brown. You don't really want to mix these because you want the pink and the green to be um, two different colors. You don't want them to end up merging and becoming a brown. So I'm just pressing instead of really like rubbing the color on. Then once I have a good healthy amount of the color packed on right there, Instead of swiping it over, I'm going to keep tapping, but I'm just going to tap away from where the color is to blend it out. So that way it's a nice fade of the pink into the green without getting like a muddy brown color. Now the last thing to do for the eyes would be uh, mascara, false lashes, and eyebrows any of those if you're doing them. I'm doing all the above. Now that I have all that done, to finish it off is lips, so I'm going to go in with this color right here, which is Grandma Lip Tar from Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. And I'm using this more as like a lip stain as opposed to like an all-out hardcore opaque lip color. So I just used a little bit of it and then um, just smeared that around just to put a little tint on my lips. And then to tone it down even more, just so it's not as pow in your face, I'm going to go in with a Ninja Dog Lip Gloss from Tokidoki. Um, you can get this stuff at Sephora. And since this has a little bit of orange in it, the blue in this, since, well, the blue of this is going to neutralize it and tone it down just a little bit so it's not as intense. 
And if you haven't used these before, I really like the applicators that these have. They actually have like a little plastic spatula wand type deal. And I'm going to put that on right on top. Then once you have that on, you're done. So yeah, I hope this tutorial was helpful to some of you. And until my next video, I will talk to all of you soon. Bye.